that are just starting off, what closing advice would you have? Like if you're going to leave people with one or two things as they think about how they enter the world of consulting, what, what would that be? I think it's kind of a multifaceted answer of um, what in this is going to make you happy. Uh, there's a financial component to it. Some people are comfortable with travel. Some people are not. I think you got to look at the organization. Are you going to be traveling? Are you going to be local? Are you going to be remote? What is? I mean, what does that? What does that look like? Um, you know, is there an opportunity, let's say, to work overseas, maybe something uh, that you want, as well as, you know, th think about, I used the word earlier, dysfunction, somewhat tongue in cheek, but I, I, I think you get my meaning, which is um, find the organization where you fit, where you where you can thrive. And I and I get it. Sometimes we don't have a lot of options, right? I have one offer. Great. I'm going to take the offer. I'm going to learn there. And, and then over time, I'm going to move. Um, but maybe it's for every career, somebody who's young, be patient with yourself. It, it's, it's okay to be impatient, but be patient with yourself. Uh, you need to evolve uh, as well. You, you, there are things you need to learn and, and you're going to make some of these mistakes. Um, and, I always thought it was baloney that you're going to make a mistake and you're going to learn from that mistake. I can tell you that there, there are certain mistakes I have made my whole life. Hopefully um, the time between making that mistake has grown and the amplitude of that mistake has been somewhat lowered, but you know, you got to forgive yourself a little bit. You make the mistake and you keep moving on. Yeah. Yeah. And, and especially like you said, at the very beginning of this conversation, you're, you're going to be surrounded by people that are smarter than you and have much more experience than you. And it can be a bit intimidating and it, and it can make, at least when I started off, I felt like I had to, I had to be at that level. I had to, I had to quickly be at that same level of knowledge and understanding. And the reality is I wasn't. So, I, you know, I was trying to pretend to be something I wasn't. And that's something I would not recommend doing because I think it, it can create some blind spots and it, it just puts too much pressure on yourself that you don't need and no one expects you to, to, to accomplish.